everyone welcome to rpb resonance chemistry so today i am going to deal with one of the like a uh, most important and most weightable topic for competitive exams like csr net gate and uh, iit jam like local sit exams as well as uh, cu sit uh, hyderabad central university those uh, all the type of competitive exam so this is the most important and most weightable topic uh, from inorganic chemistry so that is nothing but uh, organometallic compounds okay this is the most weightable topic so generally two topics uh, two chapters are the basic pillars of inorganic chemistry one is the coordination chemistry another one is the organometallic chemistry so in csr exam 30 to 40 marks came from these these topic only that is uh, organometallic chemistry these chapter only okay so uh, today onwards I, i would like to deal with these organometallic compounds now i will upload the series of videos on organometallic compounds after watching the all all my organometallic compounds videos definitely you will get the more than 30 marks more than 25 to 30 marks in organometallic compounds as uh, csr norms okay so this is the like organometallic compounds today i am going to deal with a uh, organometallic compounds introduction generally like organometallic compounds introduction that is nothing but 18 electron rule so uh, before going to the 18 electron rule now we need some of the uh, basic concept uh, which are deal with uh, like uh, which are needed to deal with 18 electron rule okay so those are called uh, like very simple basic introductions so that is a uh, hapticity of the like uh, organometallic compound as well as a uh, formal charge of the organometallic compound as well as uh, electron count in ligand methods okay so electron count method in organometallic compounds okay so today i'm going to deal with a uh, very basic introduction as well as uh, hapticity of uh, organometallic compounds hapticity of organometallic compounds now let's move on to the basic introduction just look down the board so here two compounds are appeared so the one is the like a non metallic non transitional organometallic compound and another one is a transitional organometallic compound non transitional organometallic transitional organometallic compound so this is the like a, simply it is known as cacodyl oxide simply it is called as cacodyl oxide so this is nothing but dimethyl arsenyl arsenide and hydride so this is the simplest uh, uh, representation that is nothing but cacodyl oxide okay so this is the first first non transitional organometallic compound so this is the first non transitional organometallic compound so this is the first synthesized non transitional organometallic compound now the second one that is nothing but uh, simply it is represented as k platinum 3 chlorides 1 ketylene okay so this is the simplest compound for the first transitional organometallic compound this is the first transitional organometallic compound which are synthesized in the organometallic chemistry that is nothing but jsc salt so this is the jsc salt so these two are the basic uh, like very uh, old organometallic compounds very first synthesized organometallic compound so this is the basic introduction of organometallic chemistry okay so now before going to the topic now we need so what are the importance of topic and what are the applications of those organometallic reagents okay so what are the applications of those organometallic compounds now we need that much of like curiosity that much of anxiety to knowing the like chapter okay so if if we know the like uh, application as well as uh, consequences of organometallic compounds uh, then uh, that 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 uh, boost up the like uh, learning skills or that boost up the like anxiety towards the organometallic compounds so generally let's move out applications of organometallic compounds applications of organometallic compounds so the first application so it organometallic compounds act as reagents simply so the organometallic compounds it act as reagents now we know that a uh, very uh, simple reagents grignard gilman organo lithium compounds okay so these kind of uh, organo organo metallic compounds which are used as the reagents in organic synthesis this is the new trend for the organic synthesis okay so this is the best reagent and a versatile reagents for the many of the organic uh, molecule synthesis many of the organic molecule synthesis that this is this is the first application now second application organometallic compounds which act as catalysts which act as catalysts okay so generally so the new trend of organometallic compounds that is the palladium catalysis reaction suzuki reaction heck reaction nagase coupling okay so like uh, Uh, like kumbhak cross coupling those type of palladium ca palladium catalyzer reactions very important uh, very important uh, palladium catalyzer reactions are the new trend in organometallic compounds so simply palladium catalysis reactions 
as well as like a very very simple ones hydroformylation hydroformylation and like a wilkinson catalyst wilkinson catalyst so those are the very useful catalysts in organo metallic compounds okay not only organo metallic organic uh, synthesis like a uh, hydrogen hydrogenolysis so this is the best reagent for the hydrogenases okay not only uh, like a uh, catalysis third application it having the organo metallic compounds uh, which used as additives which used as additives so generally ferrocene which is used for the which is used to uh, stop the like a uh, sooty from like diesel engines okay uh, this this is added to the like diesel engines it uh, it stops the almost all it reduces the like a uh, sooty sooty flame in diesel engines not only ferrocene like uh, lead tetraethyl lead so which is used for the anti knocking agent anti knocking agents in aeroplanes anti knocking agents so this is the main uses of organometallic compounds okay this is the basic introduction of organometallic compounds now let's move on to the first basic topic that is nothing but a hapticity So, the first basic topic uh, that is hepticity. So, simply it is uh, represented as uh, eta power n. So, the term it indicates uh, eta. Okay, so it is pronounced as eta. So, hepticity. So, simply hepticity is nothing but uh, the total number of uh, the total number of ligand atoms. Simply atoms in ligand, whatever it may be, atoms in the ligand. which are directly bounded to the or directly connected to the metal atom which are directly binded or directly co uh, connected to the metal atom simply it is known as like a hepticity okay simply it is represented as a hepticity so if only one metal is there only one metal carbon bond is there okay so that is called a mono ligand if two carbon atoms shared their uh, uh, shared their co uh, contribution to the metal atom so that is a, a dihapto compound if three carbon atoms so simply it is related to the carbon atoms mainly so three carbon atoms which shares which contributes their uh, uh, which contributes their part to towards the metal atom then it's uh, said to be uh, eta 3 that is nothing but a trihapto compound so simply it is uh, trihapto dihapto monohapto monohapto so here 1 2 3 that is indicates n so that n indicates a number of uh, ligand atoms ligand atoms uh, which are bounded to the metal atom which are bounded to the metal so that is the simple n okay so this is the basic introduction of hepticity okay so based on the uh, n value so if n is equal to 1 that is called as mono hepta mono hepto mono hepto ligand if n is equal to 2 di hepto ligand if n is equal to 3 tri hepto ligand so if n, n is equal to 4 tetra phi penta hexa hepta octa and so on so this is the like a classification of uh, a hepticity of different different ligands which are used in the organometallic compounds so if only one one uh, one atom which is connected to the central metal that is said to be mono ligand for example so the better understanding i will explain one example then after go through the classification of this hepticity okay so simply we have the like um ch3 so ch3 which is uh, attached to the metal atom like for example uh, like a uh, lead in a like a uh, lead ch3 four times okay so let's just imagine so if uh, methyl group which is connected to the metal atom so that indicates so carbon hydrogen 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 so this is the metal so this is the metal this one it it shares the it uh, donates their pair of electrons towards the metal atom so that's why it is ligands okay so this is the metal atom central metal atom so this is basic definition from coordination chemistry okay so here the pair of electrons which shares the carbon atom towards the metal so here how many atoms how many 
atoms in ligand how many atoms in ligands which contributes or which are connected to the metal atom which are connected to the metal atom only one carbon atom connected to the metal atom that's why it is called as monoheptoligand monoheptoligand so these three hydrogens cannot attach to the metal atom only carbon which contributes their pair of electrons towards metal atom so that's why it is called monoheptoligands monoheptoligands okay now let's move on to the like a classification of these hepticity based on the plenty of examples now we'll go through the plenty of the examples So now, okay, now let's move on to the, so the classification. So first one, that is monohaptoligands, monohaptoligands, simply, so the eta value is 1, eta 1, okay, so that is the hepticity 1. So simply, metal which are connected to the, like a single atom metal which are connected to the single atom so that is a ch3 or metal c2h5 so whatever the compound it, here only one carbon it, one carbon atom which is connected to the metal atom so that is a mr simply it is represented the r so r is equal to any type of alkyl group so whether it is methyl ethyl propyl tertiary butyl whatever it may be so only one carbon atom which contributes their pair of electrons towards the metal that's why it is an it is considered as monohaptoligands monohaptoligands not only alkyl groups some of the carbonyl compounds so here carbon oxygen triple bond is there so those carbon atom which contributes their pair of electrons towards the metal so that is a which donates the pair of electrons towards the metal. So that is only one carbon atom, only one atom. That's why it is eta-1 carbonyl compounds, eta-1 carbonyl compounds. Sometimes uh, thiocarbonyl compounds also it contributes. Okay, not only thiocarbonyl, uh, some of the like uh, acyl groups, okay. So some of the acyl groups uh, which uh, which is also contributes their, uh, their pair of only one, uh, one atom which contributes the metal, metal bonding. So not only acyl groups, some of the like uh, carbon atoms, R R dash. Okay. Some of the carbide atoms. Okay. So carbide carbine atoms are carbide atoms. Here it having the like a metal carbon double bond, but only one atom which shares their pair of electrons which uh, can which are connected to the metal atom. Only one atom which is connected to the metal. So that's why simply it is eta one carbene. So here eta one carbine. So here eta one eta 1 acyl so not only carbon or uh, alkyl some of the times uh, some like uh, allylic groups also participated metal so like allylic group here also only one carbon atom which contributes which connected to the central metal atom simply eta 1 allyl group so this is the like a monohaptoligands this is an example of monohaptoligands now let's move on to the dihapto and trihapto so second one that is a dihaptoligands I have to like that. Simply, it is eta two. Okay, so that means uh, two two atoms, two carbon atoms, which are connected to central metal atoms. So two atoms. Now here we need uh, two atoms contribution towards the metal atom. So here, so the two atoms, the two atoms that indicates uh, here the pi electrons. That is unsaturated compounds. So it possible to form to form the eta two complexes. So this is the best example. Ethylene, which are connected to the uh, which are connected to the metal atom. So simply, it is nothing but uh, eta two. Ethylene. So not only ethylene, sometimes propene also it contributes the eta two type of complex. It forms the eta two propene. Eta two propene. So these are the like a uh, dihaptoligands example. Now the third one, trihaptoligands. Trihaptoligands that indicates uh, eta three. Eta three. So simply eta three indicates uh, three carbon atoms. So let's uh, let's look down the simple compound. So this is the allyl carbon ion. Okay, so the allyl carbonyl, so that allyl carbonyl which contributes, uh, the, which are participated in the delocalization, that indicates those negative charge uh, uh, like uh, delocalized uh, with uh, along the three carbon atoms, three carbon atoms. So those three carbon atoms, simply it is represented as uh, like this. Okay, so those those three atoms which are connected to the metal, so those three are in the delocalization, then it is uh, connected to the metal. So here three carbon atoms are directly attached to the metal that's why here 3 eta 3 allyl compound eta 3 allyl compound 
LI will get. So in previous case, LI eta one LI is also possible. Eta three LI is also possible. Later on cases, I would like to discuss the fluxonial ligands. Okay, some of the fluxonial ligands. Not only triheptol uh, like uh, open open cyclic molecules. Uh, some of the cyclic molecules can also exhibit the so these kind of uh, these kind of uh, eta three complexes. So here cyclo uh, cyclopropenyl cation. Okay, so that cyclopropenyl cation which uh, contributes their uh, positive charge or which uh, participates the their delocalization localization towards the three carbon atoms simply it is represented as like this so the uh, this metal atom which is connected to the three carbons in a cyclic molecule so simply it is also represented as eta 3 simply it is also represented as eta 3 so sometimes the flexonial behavior is also observed so now later on cases we will discuss the those flexonial atoms now so let's move on to the fourth one that is a uh, tetrahaptal ligands That is tetrahaptal ligands, fourth one. Tetrahaptal ligands. So tetrahaptal ligands. So simply here it is the 1,3 butadiene. So if any metal which are connected to the those two unsaturations, so that is nothing but a tetra. Eta 4, eta 4, C4, H6. Eta 4, C4, H6. Sometimes the cyclic molecules are also possible. So that means uh, here these are these two atoms, these two atoms which are connected to the metal. So here eta 4, C4, H4. Okay, cyclic molecules, uh, carbon and hydrogen atom, uh, carbon and hydrogen number is equal. So if it is exceeds, uh, hydrogen number is exceeds, uh, then that is an open cyclic molecule. These two are the best example for tetrahaptal ligands. Now the fifth one, pentahaptal ligands. Pentahaptal ligands. So the pentahaptal ligand, the one and only best example, that is nothing but a cyclopentadienyl anion. So simply it is a represented as a CP, cyclopentadienyl anion. So, so here cyclopentadienyl anion, this carbon ion delocalizes into towards the five carbon atoms. That indicates, so here it can, it delocalizes uh, uh, across the five carbon atoms. So it is the negative charge, it is the negative charge. Simply it is represented as like this. So that is connected to the metal atom. So that metal which having the five five carbon atoms sharing. So that means it is eta phi complex. So simply it is eta phi CP. So that indicates a cyclopenta dienyl cation, dienyl anion. Okay, cyclopenta dienyl anion. Sixth one. So hexahaptal ligands. Hexahaptal ligands. So hexahaptal ligands. The best example is like a benzene. Like in case of chromosine, it is used in the a benzene so the metal which are contributes the six six atoms so that six carbon atoms are connected to the metal then it's said to be like a hexa after ligands hexa after ligands now let's move on to the like hepta after ligands and after hepto ligands okay so now seventh one hept after ligands so hept after ligands that is a tropelium group Okay, so here six unsaturation is there. Seventh one is also part of a, like a delocalization. Here the seven, seven member ring the cation is the aromatic. That's why it is the it is used as the stable compound. Okay, so the metal which is connected to the oh, across the seven atoms across the seven atoms simply it is represented as so those cation delocalizes across the seven atoms. So simply it is written as like this so this is the metal atom so this is eta 7 tropelium group eta 7 c7 h7 group c7 h7 that is the heptahaptal ligand heptahaptal ligand so the eighth one octahaptal ligands octahaptal ligands so this is the cyclo octatetrin cyclo octatetrin so a metal which contributes all the unsaturation rings, all the unsaturation rings, simply it is a cyclooctatetrene. So it is part, it participated across the eight carbon atoms. So those eight carbon atoms shares their uh, contribution to the metal atom. So here eight atoms are contributed. So eta eight and C eight H eight. So simply it is called as a cyclooctatetrene. This is nothing but a COT. Cyclooctatetrene COT. So some cases cyclooctadiene COD, cyclooctatriene COT. Okay, some some of the like a simple nomenclature. Simple nomenclature. Okay, 
simple representations okay so this is the octahedral layer so generally octahedral ligands are enough okay so now let us discuss the some of the like uh, fluxonial ligands okay sometimes it acts as eta 1 sometimes it acts as eta 3 based on the flexibility it is it is changed it is changed let us discuss those uh, fluxonial ligands Okay. Now let us discuss the fluxonial ligands. So th th these are the like uh, examples of uh, like mono to octahedral octahedral ligands, but it is uh, uh, discussed the different way. So fluxonial fluxonial ligands. So first uh, let us start with the allyl group. So the first example that is the allyl group. Okay. So now here, so this is the allyl group. So this allyl carbon can only contribute to the metal atom. Sometimes three are three carbon atoms are participated in the delocalization. Three atoms contributes uh, three atoms attached to the central metal atom. So here are two possibilities. Okay, allyl group sometimes it acts as eta one only one atom. So that's why it is eta one. So here three atoms are contributed. This is the eta three compound. So eta three allyl, eta one allyl. So here it is the based on the flexibility or based on the stability it is converted okay so if uh, uh, some of the complex uh, which shown uh, which having the like uh, 17 electrons other than the allyl group okay so that that was the time it uh, it requires to stabilize the uh, r to follows the 18 electron rule it requires only one electron so that time it acts as eta one sometimes 15 electron compounds uh, uh, without uh, allyl group so that the time uh, so in allyl group it requires uh, eta three complex okay based on the like a stability it, it it act as either eta 1 complexes or eta 3 complexes now second one so three member ring so here positive okay sometimes it is represented as like this okay or sometimes this is so these two compounds are eta 1 only these two are eta 1 only or it is represented like a cyclic manner this is eta 3 this is eta 3 so sometimes uh, like in case of uh, four member ring this is the four member ring so sometimes it is only metal so that's that was the time only two uh, two carbon atoms are shared the eta two complex like uh, this was the time four atoms are shared eta four complex okay sometimes the same molecule it acts as uh, eta two eta four eta one eta three so that is the flexionality that means flexibility now the fourth example so in case of a five member ring okay so this is this five member ring sometimes only one metal only one bond is attached to the metal atom so that means this is came from cyclopentadienyl anion only negatives it contributes the metal atom it uh, uh, connected to the metal atom that was the time eta one complex sometimes uh, this negative charge and one of the double bond one of the double bond delocalization so here it it forms the like a uh, here it forms the these negative charge and one double bond one double bond is unaltered so these three atoms uh, it participated in the delocalization okay the, those three atoms which are connected to the metal atom so that is simply eta 3 complex that is simply eta 3 three atoms are con uh, contributed three atoms are connected so now this was the time all the atoms are contributed that is the eta 5 cp eta 3 cp eta 1 cp so this is the flexionality okay this is the flexibility so fifth one so simply fifth one is a, like a six member ring it, it requires based on the time it is eta 2 complex eta 2 complex so sometimes eta 4 complex okay sometimes eta 4 complex sometimes uh, eta 6 complex eta 6 complex so now in case of a seven member ring so seven member ring it having the two types uh, two types of uh, like a uh, flexionality so it is a uh, not aromatic compound so here it is connected to the only one metal atom so that is eta 2 okay and uh, non aromatic compound th that cannot contribute in this carbon atom okay so if one of the carbon is sp3 so then even number of contributions are observed let's uh, let's look down to these kind of uh, examples here two two from one unsaturation two from another unsaturation this is the eta 4 complex that is the eta 4 complex so another time 
so three unsaturations so three unsaturations which are contributes the which which are connected to the central metal atom here it is the eta 6 complex eta 6 complex now sometimes uh, with the tropinium cations tropinium cation so this was the time it observes the all the atoms contribution okay sometimes if only one carbon only one carbocation which attached to the metal so here metal donates their pair of electrons towards the empty orbital of carbocation here it forms the one uh, one bond between the carbon and metal that was the time eta one now here so these three atoms are connected eta three so sometimes uh, five atoms are connected eta five sometimes all the atoms are connected all the atoms are connected so that is the eta 7 that is the eta 7 okay so this is the flexonia of uh, uh, seven member ring in case of uh, unsaturated in case of sp3 carbon presence uh, here it exhibits uh, even number of apticity even number of apticity so in case of tropelium cations it exhibits uh, odd number of apticity that is the basic uh, basic thing okay now let us discuss the final one that is nothing but a uh, cycloocta tetrene cycloocta tetrene so this is the cycloocta tetrene so only one unsaturation is participated that is eta 2 now in case of uh, another case two unsaturations are participated so that was the time eta 4 okay so here three unsaturations are participated so that is the that is the case eta 6 if all atoms are participated all atoms are participated that is eta 8 complex that is eta 8 complex okay so this is called a cyclo octa cyclo octa simply in mono in simply it is a cyclo octa in okay it having the like a cyclo octa tetrene four bonds are there only only one one double bond is contributed cyclo octa tetrene but here only it contributes one double bond that's what that was the time is eta two two double bonds eta four like uh, it is three double bonds eta six four double bonds eta eight okay so some of the cyclo octa, octa compounds it having this kind of geometry okay so here it contributes like this so that means here it is the cyclo octa tetrene only cyclo octa tetrene that is called cot cyclo octa diene sorry so here only two double bonds cyclo octa diene this is the cod cod okay based on the number of carbon atoms which are connected to the metal so the hapticity was decided hapticity was decided this is the basic introduction of hapticity now let us uh, uh, solve this some of the previous year problems which are given in the gate and csir so that is very helpful that is very boost up to our knowledge okay now let us solve this, some of the very basic problems i think it is very clear okay so this is the basic introduction of uh, organometallic compounds and uh, basic knowledge about uh, hapticity okay so this is the very i think a very clear cut information regarding to the hapticity now let's move on to the some of the previous year problems okay these are the previous year gate questions uh, like a re very recent year questions this was given in 2019 gate this was a 2017 gate okay now let's look at the uh, question so the correct molecular representation of tungsten cp taken twice uh, co taken twice is okay so they are asking about uh, like correct representation this question was related to the 18 electron compounds but uh, it is mainly based on the hapticity okay so that's why i, I would like to choose the like uh, this concept explanation so here they are given in the like uh, w cp taken twice co taken twice okay so this is the complex so the that means uh, it it follows the 18 electron rule so if it is the stable, stablest compound that indicates it is the like 18 it follows the 18 electron rule so in 18 electron rule two two cyclopentadienyls are there so what is the hapticity of those two cyclopentadienyl that is the uh, like a uh, uh, concept of uh, this question okay so they are asking about so what is the hapticity of these two cyclopentadienyl groups okay so here uh, the question itself it indicates it follows the 18 electron rule so let's calculate the total electrons that was the time how many electrons are left out for the, these two cps so those was contributed like this okay now let's move on to the like tungsten so tungsten was uh, came from uh, chromium family chromium molybdenum tungsten so that is the s1d5 family so that the outermost electrons is six electrons 
the outermost electrons are 6 that is 4s 4s1 3d5 5s1 like 4d6 4d5 that is the case of uh, tungsten okay so tungsten outermost electrons are 6 so here two carbonyls are there so how many carbonyls two carbonyls are there e each carbonyl contributes to two electrons then so two twos are four electrons two twos are four electrons so total tungsten and carbonyl electrons is 10 electrons okay but the uh, system always 18 electron rule so 18 minus 10 so 8 electrons are required 8 electrons are contributes from cp 8 electrons contributes from cp so if eta 1 is there 1 electron eta 3 is there 3 electrons eta 5 is there 5 electrons based on the cp okay so now here we required 8 electrons for uh, getting the stability of uh, uh, those complex or it obeys the 18 electron rule it requires 8 electrons it requires 8 electrons so that 8 electrons indicates whether it is a eta 1 complex or eta 3 complex or both are eta 5 or both are eta 3 so based on the options okay now let's look down the options so here eta 1 and eta 3 so both will give you only 4 electrons but we required 8 electrons so option a is wrong so now in the second case eta 1 and eta 5 that indicates only 6 electrons but we required 8 so this is also wrong so now option D, so both are the eta 5 complex, 5 plus 5, 10, so now we require only 8, so it is exceeds, it is also wrong. Now let's look down the so option number C, so one is eta 3 and another one is eta 5, so total electrons is 8, so this is the correct answer. Very simple, when you know the concept, so this kind of, uh, this is the 2019 question, okay, so very pretty easier question from uh, gate, uh, so which is, uh, came from uh, like a hepticity concept, hepticity concept. Here, they are directly asking in the, what is the hepticity of uh, cycloheptatriene molecule. So, this is the gate 2017 question, okay. So, the, here also they are uh, given the one complex, that is also came from chromium family, molybdenum, C788, uh, CO, I can find. So, it obeys the 18 electron rule, that sulfate indicates it obeys the 18 electron rule. So, molybdenum also contributes 6 electrons, so 3 carbonyls, so that, uh, that uh, 3 twos are 6 electrons, it contributes 6 electrons total is 12 electrons so now how many electrons how many uh, like uh, uh, how many electrons count from the c7h8 that is nothing but a cycloheptatriene so if it eta 1 so that is the only one electron if eta 2 that is two electrons according to the 18 electron rule so here it uh, the mo molecule that complex it it obeys the 18 electrons it obeys the 18 electrons but it having the only 12 electrons without uh, c7h8 okay so now how many electrons are left out so only six electrons are left. So those are six electrons contributes from the C7H8. C7H8. So that was the time. The hepticity of compound is a six. So hepticity is six. So this is the numerical type answer. So six is the correct answer. So six indicates. Uh, so that is the like a uh, cyclo heptatriene moiety. So this is the cyclo heptatriene. Okay. So if uh, even number of contributions are there, that is a uh, sp3 attached. Uh, sp3 containing uh, organometallic like cyclo cyclo heptatriene compound cyclo heptatriene compound this is the compound so here six atoms six carbon atoms which are contributes which are connected to the central metal atom that's why hepticity is six hepticity is six so this is a very pretty easier questions uh, from hepticity based concept i think it is very helpful for you guys thank you so much for watching